aluminum case, so we're going to go ahead and install our reverse clutches. You can see I've, uh, the steels were in good shape. I've sanded them up with 120 grit. It'll only go in one way. If you look at the, the clutch disc, I'm holding it upside right. You can see this single notch here. It goes in the bottom of the case down around the uh, 6 o'clock position. You just have to get it lined up and get that first steel put in. We've soaked our clutches in oil. They're good and soaked. And they spline onto that rear carrier. So again, a second steel. the clutch. Okay, that's the, um, all the clutches put in. Now I was able to put five clutches in there uh, by machining that rear piston. Usually you wouldn't get that many in there, possibly four. But again, by machining it, we've been able to add another steel and one more clutch, which uh, can help quite a bit. Okay, so we want to uh, put our anti-clug spring in next before we put the uh, we have a reverse carrier in there, or center support, sorry. Um, so you want to put lots of lube on it. You'll look down in the case, about the 5 o'clock position. Right in here, you'll see a little hump in the case. What we want to do is line that hump up with this right here. And the assembly lube will keep it, keep it in place. Okay, next we want to um, install our uh, low reverse uh, roller clutch, or center support they may call it. Uh, what you want to do is uh, inspect this, we want to pull this race out. It's a one, like a one-way clutch in here, and you want to inspect all these springs and rollers. As you can see, there's a series of them in there. Now a good indication that there's a spring broken is uh, when you pull that center race out, these uh, rollers will fall out. So that's a very good indication you've got a, a broken spring. If you do have a broken spring, you're going to have to replace that whole assembly. Um, ours is fine, so we want to just go ahead and put our race back in. Again, turning it the way that opposite to where it locks. And then we want to, want to keep it about flush to install it. And then you're going to find uh, four notches in the case, one large notch right here you see how wide it is and then uh, three other ones that are in the 6, 9 and 12 o'clock position so naturally we can see the large the large lug here so we know where that goes um, now to, uh, to check your clearance on the uh, clutch here if you just take a penny and lay it on top of the clutch uh, take your anti-clug spring out install the um, support in with the snap ring. If the snap ring installs with the support, the clearance is fine. Then you can go ahead and take the support back out, remove the penny, put your anti-clug spring in, and then uh, install the carrier. I'm going to go ahead and install it now. Now that 
any clog spring, you want to spread it open a little bit. Make sure it's got good tension on it. There's no washers or anything in, in here. This center race is going to spline with the gear set at the back. And at that point, just take a screwdriver and, and push it down. Make sure it's good and firm in there. Now, if you take, go through your snap rings and find the largest snap ring there is, or twice as wide as any of the other one, any of the other snap rings, sorry. What we want to do is butt the end of it up right to, under that anti clunk spring. And it can take a couple of tries to get it right, but. You can get it there and get it held in place. Then just take a screwdriver and work your snap ring around. Just like so. <clears throat> and then if you can see, it is butted up right on the curved part of the anti clunk spring. Okay, so we can go ahead and line our race up. Just shove it down. You'll see where the notches are. Blind in here to the uh, gear carrier behind it. Then we're going to have a washer that goes on here. It's a uh, four tang washer, same size as that race. Put some assembly lube on it, stick it on there. Then we can go ahead and install our sun gear. This is a large shell that you have.